Welcome to our channel Bright Mass. In this video, we are going to learn the scalar and vector product of 3 and 4 vectors formulas in an easy way. Here in first column, we have scalar or dot product. And in second column, we have vector or cross product. Remember, for dot product, we have to take determinant. And for cross product, we use the shortcut technique 1, 2, 3. First, let us see the 3 vectors dot product formula. Here, there are 3 vectors A vector, B vector, C vector. If we have 1 dot and 1 cross, then it is called scalar product of 3 vectors. Remember, we have the bracket only for the cross product. So that means A is a vector, B cross C is a vector, we take dot product of these two. And this A dot B cross C is same as A cross B dot C. This we can take it in a square bracket like this A B C and we say that it is a box product. Here the formula is determinant A vector is the first row and B vector is the second row and C vector is the third row. That is A vector is A1i plus A2j plus A3k and B vector is B1i plus B2j plus B3k and C vector is C1i plus C2j plus C3k. So the dot product of three vectors is the determinant formula just to take and write all the three vectors coefficients that is A1, A2, A3 b1, b2, b3, c1, c2, c3. So remember for dot product of three vectors we have to take determinant. So this we can remember easily dot dot determinant det. So dot means determinant. Next let us see the dot product of four vectors formulas. Here we have A, B, C, D. There are four vectors. We have the bracket for the cross product that is A cross B bracket and C cross D bracket and we have dot in between them. So this is the dot product of four vectors. This is also determinant formula that is A dot C, A dot D, B dot C, B dot D. This formula we can write very easily. Just to take the first vector, multiply and write it in the first row. That is A dot C, A dot D. This is in first row. Next to take the second vector, multiply and write it in second row. That is B dot C, B dot D. This write it in second row. And that's all. This is the dot product of 3 and 4 vectors. Next, let us see the cross product of 3 vectors. Here A cross within bracket E cross C. So we have both cross sign. Therefore, we say that it's a cross product of 3 vectors. Further, the formula is A dot C into B minus A dot B into C. This we can remember easily by taking numbers like this 1 2 3 equal to 1 3 2 minus 1 2 3. So here 1 is A vector, 2 is B vector, 3 is C vector. So left side 1 2 3 equal to right side 1 3 2 1 is A vector, 3 is C vector into 2 is B vector minus 1 2 3 1 is a vector 2 is b vector into 3 is c vector this technique can be applied if we have the first vector separate vector here 1 is a vector that is a separate vector next formula a vector cross b vector within bracket cross c vector here we have the bracket for the first two vectors A and B. 
For this we have the formula a dot c into b minus b dot c into a. And here remember 1 2 3 equal to 1 3 2 minus 2 3 1. Here 1 is a vector, 2 is b vector, 3 is c vector. And here note that 3 is the separate vector. So if we have the third vector separate vector, then use this technique 1 2 3 equal to 1 3 2 minus 2 3 1. So 1 3 2 1 is a vector, 3 is c vector into 2 is b vector minus 2 3 1. 2 is b vector, 3 is c vector into 1 is a vector. Note that in the first formula, 1 is a separate vector. So use the technique 1 3 2 minus 1 2 3. In second formula, 3 is the separate vector. So use the formula 1 3 2 minus 2 3 1. We can apply the same technique even for 4 vectors also. This is the cross product of 4 vectors. A vector cross B vector bracket cross again bracket C vector cross D vector. For this we have two formulas. First formula take 1, 2, 3. Here 1 is the separate vector. That means this first bracket take it as 1. And 2 is C vector, 3 is D vector. Equal to we use the technique 1, 3, 2 minus 1, 2, 3. So 1 is A vector, B vector. 3 is D vector into 2 is c vector minus 1 is a vector b vector 2 is c vector into 3 is d vector so if we have one separate vector then we use this formula next if we take third vector separate vector then we use the technique 1 3 2 minus 2 3 1 so next formula 1 is a vector, 2 is b vector, 3 is the separate vector that is c vector, d vector together. So this second bracket take it as 3 separate vector. Then we have the formula 1 is a vector, 3 is both c and d into 2 is b vector minus 2, 3, 1. That is 2 is B vector, 3 is C, D together into 1 is A vector. This technique will be very very useful if we have any other letters in problems. So in problems the letters may be different. So if we use this number technique we can write the answer very easily. Next, let us see the important results in scalar triple product. Scalar means dot product and we know that dot product is the determinant formula. That is box of ABC equal to it's a determinant formula. First row is A vector numbers that is A1, A2, A3. Second row is B vector numbers that is B1, B2, B3. Third row is C vector numbers that is C1, C2, C3. Now let us see the important results. The first result is box product of A vector, A vector, B vector equal to 0. That means if any two vectors are same inside the box product then the answer is 0. This we can remember easily. It's a determinant formula. So in a determinant, if two rows are same, then the determinant value is 0. So here see this, first row A vector numbers. Again if we take second vector also A vector, then we will get the first two rows same. That means the determinant value is 0. Next result. For coplanar, the box product of ABC is equal to 0. And we know that coplanar means determinant is 0. Since determinant is 0, this box product also equal to 0. Next formula, 
The box product can be taken in cyclic order like this. That is box of ABC is same as box of BCA that is equal to box of CAB. So remember the cyclic order. In determinant also we can take it in cyclic order. The determinant value will be same only. So remember the cyclic order 1, 2, 3, 2, 3, 1, 3, 1, 2. Like that ABC, BCA, CAB. Next result box of A minus B, B minus C, C minus A equal to 0. So remember in a box product if we have negative sign then the value is 0. And note that this is in cyclic order. That is A minus B, B minus C, C minus A. Next box of A plus B, B plus C, C plus A equal to 2 times box of A, B, C. So remember if we have plus sign then we have to take twice. And this is also in cyclic order. Note that left side we have a plus b, b plus c, c plus a. Next to formula, if we have product, then we have to take square. That is box of a cross b, b cross c, c cross a equal to box of a, b, c square. This is also in cyclic order. Left side we have a cross b, b cross c, c cross a. That is a, b, b, c, c a. So these are the important results. Note that all the left hand side we have the cyclic order and we can remember the results very easily. If we have negative sign then it is 0. If we have plus sign then we have to take twice. If we have multiplication then we have to take square. Thanks for watching.